I have a blown head gasket in my Forerunner. Um, we all know what that means. Minimum three, four thousand dollars. I mean, unless you do it yourself, but that's an intense job. Just so many parts, so many hours. It's doable, but um, uh, I may have found an alternative. And I know I'll probably get a lot of flack for this one. But we all know not to use anything that you pour into your radiator. No stop leak, anything like that. No bueno. But I found this stuff called Blue Devil in my searching. I wasn't searching for anything you pour in, but it popped up. Yeah, I looked up reviews. I look, I, you know, it, This Blue Devil stuff is about four times the price of stop leak. And uh, supposedly because it's chemical based, not physical metal particulates, it's not, it's supposed to not clog your system. It's, uh, I think $65 for a bottle. And, you know, that with radiator flush, some water, a uh, new thermostat, um, you're looking at a hundred, 120 bucks for everything. I'm going to give it a shot. I'm nervous. Um, it, again, I looked up a lot of videos, reviews, articles, forums, and I couldn't find one place that said this is going to hurt your system. I found lots of D, uh, info about other products that will hurt your system, you know, hurt everything else. And uh, sounds like this might work. Some people it works for a few months and then they end up with a blown head gasket again, bad head gasket. Some people, I've seen quite a few reviews saying that, well, reviews, forum, everything, videos, uh, where people have run it for four years or more with zero issues as if it's a perfectly good head gasket. So I'm going to give this a shot. I'm nervous, but we're going to try it. And I'm going to show you how I do it. Let's go. Trailbenders Overland is a stock of media production and proudly sponsored by Tough Stuff Overland, The Waterport, General Tire, CBI, and supported by Casty Works, California Wraps, Dave Smith Motors, Action Tracks, Core 4x4, and What If Survival. All right, so I'm actually pretty hopeful I could end up being a good review or a bad review for this product. Um, but like I said, we're gonna give it a shot. So here's the game plan. We're going to drain all the coolant that's in here now. I, I don't know how much you need this, depends on how dirty your system is. Mine's not very dirty, but I'm playing it safe. Um, I got this radiator flush. We're gonna fill it all back up, run this through. Uh, we're taking out the thermostat so everything can just flow. After that, we'll drain it back out, fill it up with more distilled water, use our head gasket sealer. And then they say you don't have to drain it. I probably will end up draining it again so that I can add some actual antifreeze coolant. I live in San Diego, I'm not worried about it freezing, but I do travel to places that do freeze. So that's the plan. Let's get started. All right, let's start with the radiator. Just give it a little twist. If you take this off completely, it'll, have, it'll go a little bit quicker. All right, we are in the passenger side wheel well. This, my hand's a little blurry, this is our Top upper control arm, springs. Again, there's your bolt with the, the hose underneath it. This top one right here is what you'll want to loosen to drain the coolant out of the block on your passenger side. 
All right, we are driver side. There's your coil and the rear of your driver control arm, upper control arm. And back there, right in the middle, is your other drain plug. You wanna get a 10 millimeter on the end of that and the water will come out that bottom hole. So this was pretty difficult to get my socket on there. It's a 14 millimeter deep socket that you want. I showed you where it was earlier, but it was so difficult getting it on there. I wasn't filming. Uh, what I had to do is reach down from on top of the engine and get my hand <clears throat> down on that socket um, before actually putting my ratchet on here. So just give that a good twist. Whoa. So here's what we just pulled out of the block. I actually made a mistake. I did use the 14 millimeter socket and I pulled the whole thing off, which you actually want. And I'll show you this on the other side. It's a 10 millimeter socket. Just to unscrew the end. You don't want to unscrew the whole thing. And with that all finished draining, you can go ahead and tighten it back up. Next is to remove the thermostat. Grab yourself a pair of pliers so you can get this hose clamp off. There you go. And then, like I said, 10 millimeter on a swivel and an extension so you can get these three nuts off holding the thermostat on. Now I have lost one of these before, so be very careful when you actually take it off. Once you break those loose, it's easier just to get in there by hand. Safe. Consider it an accomplishment if you get through the entire job without losing one of these nuts. Well, I was planning on showing you this, but it happened prematurely. The thermostat is held in by this spring here. And I, uh, I bought another thermostat in case this happened, but these little clips are what hold this bracket down. And I just broke one of those clips off on accident, but got the thermostat out. I have another one to replace this whole housing. But with that out, we can go ahead and reinstall the housing. Now, the directions on here says to fill and drain one more time. My water looked pretty clean, so I'm not going to do that. Um, but with everything cool, you don't want to do this while it's hot, take off your radiator cap. Go ahead and pour this stuff in. Then, with the engine running, we'll go ahead and top off with water and let this run for 10 minutes. All right, let's start the motor and top it off with water. And the way you know you have a bad head gasket, one way is these bubbles never stop. That's because there's exhaust getting into the cooling system. So working on vehicles is often uh, full of unexpected things. So what happened was I took the thermostat out of the housing, reinstalled it, and uh, it turned out the O-ring didn't seal right. So when I started the motor to you know flush all that cleaning and the water that, through the system um, I had water leaking out of the housing so what I did was I took the o-ring out of my new thermostat put it on this empty housing so that way I can you know run the system without leaking all the water uh, and what I uh, what I'm doing now is if the if I pull that one off and put it on the new housing and the o-ring looks like it's still you know squishy 
and bigger than the housing, then I'll reuse it. But I do suggest finding a new housing or a, a new O-ring. Um, Napa or AutoZone may or may not have them. Uh, there's a Napa close to me that does, so I'll be going and picking that up if needed. <clears throat> and with all the cleaning solution flowing through the engine for about 10 minutes at idle, we'll go ahead, drain everything again before we fill it with the head gasket sealer and new water. So repeat the whole drain process again. Okay, I've drained all the coolant. I refilled with distilled water and the radiator flush, the cleaner, and then I've drained all of that. Now I'm going to fill up with water again, and uh, this is a two and a half gallon system, roughly. So I'll put two gallons in there, half the bottle of the head gasket sealer, and then let it idle for about an hour and see if the bubbles start coming out, stop coming out of my uh, radiator cap. So I'll get as much water as I can in there before starting the engine. All right, water just hit the top. What I'll do now is start the motor and that will drain or that will lower and then I'll start adding our head gasket sealer. And something that's very important, you want to do this slowly. You want to take about 30 seconds to a minute to pour this. All right, let's go ahead and put the radiator cap back on. And then I'm going to top off our overflow tank with some water. And now we wait for about an hour. One hour later. So the engine's been running for about an hour now and what I'm going to do now, since it's dark, is I'll put the other thermostat back in. I'm going to drive it home and we'll finish the video tomorrow. So, boom! Oh my gosh, I think it worked. I, there's no bubbles. There's no more bubbles. I, I burped the system just like you normally should. You know, with, with the 4Runner, the heater core is a little bit higher than the radiator cap. So you want to park on a hill let the engine warm up, I'm basic burping, let the engine warm up. Uh, when the thermostat opens, it's all flowing around. Being up on a hill, all the air can come out the radiator rather than get trapped in the heater core. When you do that, uh, turn your heater on full blast. No more bubbles. And so it's been a few days, I'm a few days older, a few days wiser, and got a haircut too. Uh, it's been a few days and I have to tell you, I've never felt my truck idle and run so smooth. I, it makes me wonder how long I've actually had the problem for without realizing it. Um, it I almost every morning for the last six, seven months, cold start, rough idle, just real shaky, sometimes worse than others, but never perfect. It's just been purring, like perfection. So, I mean, this isn't a hundred, I mean, in my head, this isn't a hundred percent valid until I make another video in a year or two saying, hey guys, it's still doing great. I want to pull another trailer over a mountain. I want to do more 10, 12, 13, 14 hour days driving for a year before I can say that this really works perfectly. But what I can say is that it's worked so far. Um, we'll see how long it lasts. Uh, a lot of people online used it and they're four years in, no problems. I'm hoping that it's the same for me, but I'm, in, I'm amazed, really. So if anything happens, if anything changes, I'll be sure to let you know. But I'm calling this works. I'm calling this good. 
Wow. I just fixed my head gasket for a hundred bucks. <laughs> uh, some distilled water, the head gasket, sealer, radiator flush, um, all to, uh, new thermostat, a little bit, all that together just adds up, you know, 100, 120 bucks. The actual head gasket sealer itself was 65, if I remember right. Got mine at AutoZone. Um, that's it. I'm, I'm a happy camper. Oh, and a quick little add-in. The uh, head gasket sealer is still in my coolant system with distilled water only. I did this whole thing with distilled water. I don't live anywhere where it's freezing, at least I'm not traveling anywhere that's freezing yet. And so I'm not worried about not having antifreeze in there for a little bit, but I'm gonna leave that in the system for a couple weeks. I will be draining it and adding in um, antifreeze, coolant, whatever. And uh, mo mostly because of the anti-corrosion properties of antifreeze, so anyway, that's all. Thank you all so much for watching. If you liked the video, if you have any questions, let us know in the comments below. If you liked the video, hit the like button. Consider being part of the Bender Fam by hitting subscribe. And if you wanna see more of our videos or the follow-up video, when it comes out, be sure to hit that notification bell so you're notified when our future videos release. Thank you all so much for watching again. This is Dylan from Trailbenders Overland, out. What's up, Bender fam? It's actually been about six months since doing the head gasket fix. And I'm finally getting around to editing the video. I wanted to make sure I share with you, this thing is still running like new. It's incredible. I've gone up and over mountains, pulling trailers, pushing this thing to limits that I would have never been able to do while the head gasket was bad. Um, doing that same stuff, exhaust would be getting into the coolant and I'd be getting bubbles and it wouldn't be able to cool down. It's working flawlessly. I can't, I seriously can't believe it. I'm, I'm calling it good. I'm still going to make a video in a year or two um, with my, you know, another review to say whether it is or isn't working. If it fails, I'll make a video about that, but I'll keep you guys updated. But for now, I fixed my head gasket for a hundred bucks. Incredible. Thank you all so much for watching again. Just wanted to throw this in there. I'm in the middle of editing the video right now and I uh, thought I'd give you guys this little extra bit of info that six months later, it's still good. Amazing. Can't believe it. Thank you again all. Take care.